There's only one thing wrong with the game Her Majesty spiffing as far as I'm concerned. It's too short. The whole affair takes just about two hours to complete and left me wanting way more than I got. Not because of the gameplay though, which is pretty standard point and click adventure fare so old school that it gets visited by its grandkids at the retirement home. But what really elevates this game is the hands down fantastic writing. And yes, I understand that this type of humor might not be for everybody, but honestly I'm just a sucker for these gorgeously composed Britishisms. Almost every line here is an attempt at a joke and it's got a density of comedic material that could potentially rival the golden age of LucasArts. And that's why it's such a shame that the entire affair barely lasts for an afternoon tea session. There's a grand total of two locations and maybe two dozen puzzles to solve in them and it just seems like the developers created this game right up until the money ran out so they wrapped it up quickly. I would have loved to see more come out of this premise in general and just to see more witty character interactions. However, and you knew there was a however coming because there always is, the developers here aren't to be praised too much because they've been very naughty indeed. See, I didn't pull that line about being developed right until the money stopped completely out of my arse. This game was originally crowdfunded on Kickstarter. This in and of itself is not a big deal, but there were promises made on there that haven't been kept. The developers clearly state that the intent here is to create an episodic video game that's supposed to be released in three acts, and if you pledged a certain amount you were promised a season pass that would include access to the second and third episode once those were released. And you can already guess what happened from there. So far none of the other episodes have been released. The developers have been very sporadic with their updates on the Kickstarter page itself and the last update they posted over three years ago states that the development of future episode hinged on the commercial performance of the first episode. Their official Twitter account last mentioned this game over two years ago and they've since started work on another title, so it's safe to assume that this property has been abandoned in the meantime. I personally was never a backer on Kickstarter, mostly because I don't really care about crowdfunding. I don't trust people there enough to consistently deliver what they set out to do. If you help crowdfund something, that's fine, but you have to know that the money you invest there has to be considered lost. It's a donation you give to someone else and any promise they make might as well be written in sand just before the tide rolls in for what they're worth. And it's a shame that this game is a perfect example of this philosophy at play. I'm not here trying to tell the developers that they need to fulfill their promises. It sucks that they couldn't do that, but in the end they are not obliged to do it. But to cut off communication about this entirely, to not even mention the fact that this game was supposed to end up being a multi-part series in the Steam description, that I can and will point out and criticize. It's one thing to not be able to do something you've promised, but fucking own that fact that you can't follow through. I would have loved to give this game a glowing recommendation based on the stellar writing and the overall very nice production values, save for the horrifyingly bad depth of field effect that just blurs textures but not the objects they're applied to. But I can't recommend this game at all because you literally just get a third of what this game is supposed to be, and the developers shouldn't be rewarded for making promises they knew they couldn't keep when they later admit that the production on the second and third episode would not be covered by the budget they raised with the promise of said episodes, but rather by the very much uncertain commercial performance of the first episode. I always hate bringing in things into reviews that shouldn't matter when discussing games. Prices, finances, business practices or corporate politics. These things shouldn't matter if the product that the customer gets is good and if customers get respected by the people they give their money to. And on its own merits, Her Majesty's spiffing is great. But I cannot in good conscience sit here and tell you to buy it if the developers can't even be honest about what they're selling to you here. An unfinished third of a greater narrative that abruptly ends with absolutely no hope for any future installments in sight. Go look up a let's play or something and save yourself the money. Blimey. Thank <laughs> you.